back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps. I like creating soap art and making lots of fancy soap projects. Today we're going to be making an Earl Grey with lemon soap. It has real Earl Grey tea leaves. They smell so delightful and lemon essential oil. But before we begin, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Essentially, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives. They offer thousands of classes on every single topic you could possibly want to explore. All Skillshare classes are go at your own pace. So they have classes for you, no matter your lifestyle or your availability. Also, if you are a small business owner that shoots your own photos, which is like 99% of us, they have some really, really great photography tips for shooting on an iPhone, because I know not all of us can afford to have a big fancy DSLR and iPhones are so good nowadays you honestly don't even need them. If you would like to learn more about shooting on an iPhone, I actually have a class I really like. I'll link it down below for you guys. You don't have to just want to do soap making. You can want to do anything creative and they've got a class on that. But if you want classes on soap making and candle making and DIY bath and body crafting, they have the classes on those too. So the first 500 people to click the link down in the description box below and the pinned comment in the comment section will get two months of Skillshare Premium for free so that you can go out and explore your creativity. I'm really, really excited that I can help you out with this. I love Skillshare. I think that they're a very valuable company and I'm so, so grateful that they've partnered with me on this video. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy today's soap making video and let's get to it. Now I know the first thing I normally do is pour my lye water solution into all of my oils, but Today, I actually have to put some kaolin clay in this batch, so I'm just gonna mix it into the lye water. I found kaolin clay does better when mixed into water and not into oils. Well, that took a surprisingly long time. <laughs> so, I am now going to pour my lye water solution into my oils. Mmm, it looks like oat milk, so creamy. So let's blend this up just past emulsion. I don't want it any thicker than that. Ah yes, nice and runny. Let's split that batch into two equal portions. Good grief, how splashy. This is why you wear long sleeves and gloves. That's a little better. What a saucy soap batch. Now I'm gonna scrapey scrapey out my big containy. And yes, I did indeed talk about my soap as if it has a mind of its own. It does have a mind of its own. When you've made soap as much as I have, you know that soap thinks, breathes, and acts of its own accord. It must be gently coaxed into behaving. <laughs> now one of these, I'm gonna move off to the side. We don't need it right now, it's reddish. It's red. It's rubbish. <laughs> For now, at least. Now let's focus on Senor right here. We'll make it green. But before I add the colorant, I'm going to add in some of this Earl Grey aromatic tea. And let me tell you, this is the best smelling Earl Grey tea I have ever smelled. It really is a very fragrant tea. I've chopped it all up in my blender so that we've taken those really big pieces of tea leaves and gotten them a little finer. And now using my my custom green blend. I'm just going to pour that right on top. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> gonna scrape my little colorant container. This is gonna be really green. I had to use a whole bucket to mix up the color. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. Let's blend it all up. exactly as I desired. So let's add our fragrance oil and essential oil blend. The fragrance oil I'm adding is Earl Grey Tea from Nature's Garden and the essential oil is lemon essential oil. It smells so nice. I'm going to blend this in with my spatula. Now most of the time tea fragrance oils make your batter a little bit runny. All right so with everything blended in let's hurry up and pour it into our large slab mold after this quick commercial break. Oh, this view looks so cool. Ooh, 
so nice. So ploppy. Just gonna get all that soap in there real quick. Gonna scrape out as much soap as I can. Gotta tap that down. Now I am having to hurry my little self on up because this soap is setting up. In this one closest to me, I added some satin gray pillowcase. In this middle one, I have added my little custom green blend. And to this final bit of batter, I'm adding some yellow and some brown. And into the big bucket, I am adding some TD. I am going to have to blend these super, super quick. Okay guys, I'm pouring in all three of the containers. It is really thick. I'm moving really quickly. When I make this again, I won't have this trouble because I'll be working at slightly lower temperatures. I think I soaked too hot today. I think it'll still turn out really nicely though. And then I am going to mix this up just a little bit because it's so thick. <laughs> there we go, that looks good. Okay, so I am now going to pour it into my large slab mold. Ooh, good thing this bottom pour portion is set up because sis is so thick. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta tap that on the ground real fast. Now any little bit I still have in my containers, I'm just gonna throw on the top. I'm gonna swirl it all in anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It does seem with certain soaps, you can get it to a certain thickness, like say as thick as it is now, which is quite a bit thick for pouring, but it's not gonna get too much thicker when it comes to like say swirling. So it's still very swirlable. It's just not ideal for trying to get it into the actual mold. Now I'm taking a bit of the left leftover colors off to the side and I'm just putting it on top of the soap. And regardless of how uh, thick this soap got, I'm actually really pleased with the color palette. It's exactly what I envisioned. Ooh, put some of that green on there. And let's swirl that top with my glass stick. Ooh, oh yes, I'm very pleased with that. I'm now taking a toothpick, which is a lot smaller, obviously, and just going down the middles of the bars. That way, if it gets cut um, in a slightly funny area, it will still have a swirl on it. Right down here. I'm also gonna get those corners real quick. Swirl these guys. These guys. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right, great. Now I'm gonna tap it down on the ground. I'm gonna spritz the top with rubbing alcohol very liberally. And that's it, we're done with Earl Grey and lemon. You guys, look at those green tones in the soap. I'm obsessed. I actually really like the lemon color. I was trying to compensate for not having yellow oxide and in the future, I might go ahead and add the yellow oxide in anyway, but adding a little mocha brown to true yellow really, really looks nice. So I'm gonna let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna split the slab into low loaves and cut those loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. Okay guys, so I have Natasha here. That's what I decided to name her. I thought about naming this one Elsa and the other one Anna, but a little too cliche. <laughs> Now, I will say this. I love all the colors in here, except for this yellow. I think I put a little too much brown in there. And also, apparently, true yellow from TKB will bleed if you mix it in on the top of soap. I had never mixed it in before, and now I'm seeing it's bleeding a little bit. So, lesson learned. Okay, so I'm gonna push down gently. Well, actually, not so gently, because this soap is a little bit old. <laughs> Gonna remove the samples. Bring you guys in a little closer. And this, 
is what it looks like on the inside. So first of all, let me just say, I accidentally split the slab a quarter of a centimeter too small. So these bars are smaller than our other bars. I'm such a weasel. I don't know why I did that. But I'm gonna talk about the positives. So I love the green color on the bottom. I will not change that. I think it's perfect. The gray and the green and the white up here. There's a little bit of glycerin nervous up in here. Not a big deal. I think I'm going to grind the T smaller. I tried for a little bit chunkier texture, but I think I'm going to grind it even smaller next time. And then this greeny, whatever color that is, yellow, has got to go. We will be using a different color yellow for that. I think I want it to be a more true yellow and not so khaki looking. And then on top, we'll probably be using a yellow mica that won't bleed, like bright yellow raincoat from Mad Micas. That one does really nice on top because I've used that one before. Let me just say though, that the fragrance is stunning. Like the fragrance is exceptional. And I got exactly as many swirls as I wanted on the inside here. Yeah, you see these little drag marks? That's because the tea is a little too big. So I'm gonna finally chop that up and then we're gonna get a better yellow here on top, but it smells so good. And the actual concept, I think, turned out really nicely. Now y'all know I have to pick a tea-related question. <laughs> okay, so the question of the day is, do you prefer an oolong tea or a black tea? tea. Now I am not a tea expert. So from what I understand, oolong tea is always like a lighter sort of slightly less robust type tea. And then like a black tea is going to be something that, well, first of all, the tea is black. And then also the flavor is a lot stronger. So for all y'all tea people out there who know a thing or two about tea, let me know your favorite. I will also put an option that's like, neither one of those different type of tea is my favorite. And all you have to do to vote on the question of the day is click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's soap making video. If you'd like to see more soap making videos like it, consider subscribing to our channel. You can leave us a comment down below requesting new designs. Of course, I do read almost every single comment. I try. I try to read all the comments, especially those of you guys that have lots and lots of ideas that you need to share with me. I am very much inspired by y'all. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And once again, you guys, get your two months of Skillshare Premium for free. Try it out. See if you like it. All you have to do is click the link down in the description box and in the top pinned comment below. And once again, I really appreciate your support in this area with our sponsorship. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is going out and enjoying the sunshine. Hopefully you have sunshine where you are, and I'm sorry if you have like a six month long winter because I feel like people up north in the United States and Canada like get this much spring and this much winter, and I don't know if I would be able to do that. Or maybe purchasing a coffee table book that is full of beautiful pictures. I just got the Floret Flowers, like how to arrange flowers. I don't remember the name of the book. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful book. It has gorgeous pictures. I'll leave you guys a link down below. Either way, do something that makes you happy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Meow. <laughs>